Yeah, thank you ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Victor Obasui. And uh, today we're going to be talking about um, green vegetables, carrots, and the eyes. I'm sure most of us would have had it uh, drummed into our ears as kids. Eat your carrots and green vegetables and you won't need um, glasses. How far that is true is what we're going to be talking about um, today. I see the frustration in um, patients' um, eyes or even their parents. When I tell them that uh, maybe little John or little Jane, uh, prescription glasses needs to be a little stronger. The first question is, um, uh, Doc, why is the prescription getting stronger? Uh, the child has been eating carrots and green vegetables um, throughout the year. So she, he or she should be growing out of glasses, not um, needing stronger glasses. And I always have to explain this again to them that, look, your prescription glasses, the power has not to do with um, the carrots or green vegetables that you, uh, that you eat. And I see the shock in their faces because a lot of times, this is something that um, we've been told from when we were young. And we tend to pass the message across um, to the next generation. Uh, is there any element of truth in this? Uh, no, predominantly. But there is a tiny fraction of truth in it, and I'll get to it. First and foremost, uh, the eye is like a photographic camera. In a camera, you have two basic things. You have the sensor at the back of the camera, and you have the focusing mechanism which is made of the lenses. Now, when you go buy a camera, the first thing you ask them is, say, what's the resolution of this camera? They say 5 megapixels, and the other camera is uh, 20 megapixels. Of course, you're going for the 20 megapixels because you know that one has a higher resolution. But even if you buy the 20 megapixels camera and you do not know how to focus the, the lenses to have a good focus, that camera is useless because you're going to get blurry images anyway. And that's exactly the same thing with the eyes. In the eye, we have four basic parts that we're going to talk about so that that way we can understand this message um, easier. The sensor in your camera is represented by the retina. The focusing mechanism in your camera, which is the lenses in the eye, is also represented by the curvature of the cornea and your lens power, the natural lens in the eye. So, we see how um, the analogy between these two. In your camera, you have the sensor at the, back of the, at the back of the camera, and you have the lenses that help you focus it. In the eye, we have this, the retina at the back of the eye, and we have the cornea and the lens that focuses the light predominantly. The, the sensor in your camera has to be very good for you to have a very uh, good image. The carrot that we eat only helps enhance the retina. So the carrot, we can say, makes the retina a better sensor. That's all it does. Nothing to do with the focusing mechanism in the eye. The focusing mechanism in the eye is made up of two things. The curvature of your cornea and the power of the natural lens inside the eye. These are the two things. The focusing mechanism in the eye, the cornea, the curved frontmost part of the eye, followed by the lens inside the eye, and these two are the focusing mechanism. So, but to get a very good image in the eye, there's a third factor which is called the axial length of the eye, which is represented by the distance from the cornea to the uh, retina at the back of the eye. If the, if you have a, good, uh, a normal curvature cornea and the normal power lens, the image from the cornea and the lens will focus on your retina for you to have a um, good vision. The retina then transmits that image through the optic nerve to the brain. The brain interprets all that information as what we call vision. Now, if the cornea curvature is normal, your lens is the normal power, then it's going to focus the image on the retina 
based on the fact that this is a standard Asia length, and that's what you have. But we are all born with different Asia lengths. Some people may have bigger eyeball, which means the Asia length is going to be more. If the Asia length is more, wherever this cornea and the lens is going to focus, the image is still going to focus. If this is the standard Asia length, it's going to be here. So whether your Asia length is more or less does not change where this image that's coming from here is going to focus. If the Asia length is longer, the image is going to focus before the retina and the image will be blurry. That is what we call myopia or short-sightedness. So if your eyeball is smaller, it means the axial length is shorter. If the axial length is shorter, the image from here is still going to form at the same spot anyway. So it means it will form, the image will form behind the retina. And that is what we call long-sightedness or hyperopia. So you have seen that these are the things that determines your glasses prescription. The curvature of your cornea, the, natural power, the power of the natural lens that you have in your eye, and the axial lens is what determines your overall glasses prescription. Of these three factors, the carrot that you are eating only affects the retina. It does not affect the curvature of the cornea, the power of the lens, or your axial length. And that is why eating all the carrots and vegetables in the world is not going to change your glasses prescription. So um, I think we can better explain this to our own kids, and maybe to other people. So that way we don't build this expectation in them, or expectation that um, uh, the eating carrots and vegetables is going to make us outgrow uh, the need for glasses. It will not happen. Carrots just give you a better sensor in the retina. Other than that, it does not affect the focusing mechanism or the axial length of the eye. And those are the things that uh, determine what your glasses prescription will be. I hope this is um, clear enough. The only way you can um, reduce your dependence on glasses is if you actually alter the curvature of the cornea. And that's what they do during laser vision correction. And that's a permanent solution. So if you don't want to wear glasses or contacts, your only option is not eating carrot or green vegetables. Your option is um, if you don't want glasses or contact lenses, two ways. You alter uh, the curvature of the cornea, which is done with laser vision correction using laser light, and that's called laser vision correction, uh, to bring the cornea back to the normal curvature if all the other parameters are okay. Now, suppose the prescription is very high and altering the cornea, the curvature of the cornea will not be enough to compensate for your prescription. The other option is to take out the natural lens in the eye and replace it with one that has um, more or less power as the case may be to compensate for what we would have been wearing as glasses or contact lenses in front of the eye. So this is how it is done. Then alternatively, if you don't want to do laser vision correction, the only, other, the only next of, uh, alternative is a, is a temporary solution. It's called autokeratology, which um, a lot of patients don't know about. What autokeratology is, uh, is special lenses, special contact lenses that the patient wears to sleep on their cornea. What it does, it molds the cornea, it changes the shape of the cornea to either a flatter one or a steeper one. So it tends to force the cornea to become the normal curvature if every other thing here is okay. So what in the patient wears these contact lenses when they go to sleep. In the morning, they take them out. Now, curvature of the cornea that has been uh, altered will gradually, as the day progresses, because the cornea is elastic, it will gradually return to its normal curvature. So, but before it returns to normal curvature, the patient can enjoy almost a full day without glasses. By evening, of course, it will reverse, the corner reverses back to normal. So, during the day, the patient can function without glasses or contact lenses by wearing auto K lenses at night. So, these are the two ways around it. Permanent solution, laser vision correction. Temporary correction, you wear uh, auto K lenses at night to, to go to bed. Other than that, 
If anybody tells you that um, you eat carrot and vegetables and um, in a year you won't need glasses, please tell the person it is not true. And we also don't build this expectation in our kids. We should let them know that carrots and green vegetables are good for the eyes, true, but it's not going to affect their prescription. It's not going to change their prescription, maybe make it higher or make it lower. It is not going to do that. So other than that, I hope um, this answers the question. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your time. I appreciate you all. Keep watching our videos. Share them. Uh, if there are comments, leave them for me in the comment section. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys in a week.